Hi, I'm Maria Mena, and you're watching Toasted. You, were, you woke up really early, right? I woke up early, but I had a nap now, so I'm fine. Yeah, well, you look fine, so that's cool. Thank you. Hey, new album almost out, Victoria. It's almost out. Uh, feels really weird. I'm having conversations with myself every single day, trying to figure out, this is my life now. This is my life now. It's okay. This, okay, so this is my life now. I've been gone for so long, and I've actually been home for about a year. So it's a little bit of an adjustment to get back. I've been listening to the album um, consecutively for a couple of days now. And what came into my mind is that it could have all well been growing up with Maria. It could, yeah, probably. Um, is, is, is that stuff actually autobiographical, bi biographical, what you write? Yeah, exactly. it is. That's why I take time off usually to write, because I need to kind of live to be able to write. Um, they're all more than, than anything... These songs are all lessons I learned, all th all kind of life mottos, things I live by, uh, and why I live by them, and what I've experienced to come to that conclusion. You have led an extraordinary life. I mean, you became famous when you were really young, 16. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do you cope? Um, for me, it was perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't recommend it to people to start working professionally in this industry that young but for me it was perfect because I really wouldn't know what to do uh, and I don't think I would have people keep asking me like what would you what, what, what would you have become if if you didn't do music and I can't tell you that I know I wouldn't I don't know I've been trying to like search my brain for that I have no idea music was the only thing I wanted to do and at that age it was perfect because I was so fresh and I had no idea what I was doing I don't think I would have done half the things that I've done had I known what it was had I known how big it was going to be and I'm glad I've done it I've learned a lot when you first hit the big time like when you first made the big big hits and you were asked to play at letterman and w w did you think it would have would happen were you surprised actually that you that you broke no. through um more so i was not even aware of what i was doing um i think just the, like the last two years i've really really taken control of my own career before that, I was kind of one of those people. Um, I would know what I was doing while I was writing an album. I would That would be my center of attention and what was most important to me. And I would just let other people take care of everything else. Uh, and these years, I'm kind of taking more control of my career just because I realize that I am the product. And if I want it done my way, I need to do it myself. I think this new album is uh, an album album. It's not like there's not a, a real single on it, I think. I don't think so either, no. This is an album. This is something you, you, you put on and you listen to. There's a start and an end. Um, exactly, and a story. It's for people who want to learn something and who, who want to listen and who want to join that travel with me. It's not, and I've never have really been, I've been lucky. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, some of the songs will be played on radio, but I've, I've, I've always wanted to be the album artist, which is weird because I think that our society right now, and especially our music industry, is going the other way. Yeah. So I guess I'm just holding back a little bit. I want to tell stories. But how does that work? I mean, I can't imagine your record company wants you to produce another hit, you know, like, you know, we need to hold you or we need to her all this time, you know? Well, don't sleep on Homeless yet or Victoria. There might be radio hits in there. True, true, true. But, yeah, but they're not as easy true. listening and poppy as the other songs. I think they are. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you're the artist, you write it, so you you know yeah you, <laughs> you know better than me, of course. Yeah, I don't know better than you, but I think they are. Um, but yeah, you're right. There is. Um, I don't feel the pressure though. I think that my record company is starting to understand what type of artist I am, and also what type of artist I, I'm perceived as by my fans, mm -hmm. and so. I, I, we're going to be fine. <laughs> I don't doubt it for a second. Hey, talking about your fans, you have a lot of fans in Holland. You know that, right? It's, you're, you're really popular here. Do you have an explanation for that? 
I really don't know. No. The only thing I can say is that I feel... I feel understood when I'm here. As well as I... And maybe even better than I feel understood in Norway. We just communicate in the same way. Maybe that's why. Like when I'm on stage especially, I just feel like I can really be myself. And they get it. So you're looking forward to the gig you're going to have in the party, so... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to all the gigs I'm having here. Um, the Songbird Festival and and stuff like that. I'm, I like that we're able to combine all the promotion with live performances. It's give, it gives me time to breathe and to realize why I'm doing this. Because promotion can be tedious and tough sometimes. It's just just talking about something instead of actually doing it and performing it. So it feels good to be able to combine that. You've been doing press for a long time now, right? I mean, uh, and I can't imagine it's a drag. You have to wake up really early to get to the radio shows. And we were just talking off camera, but uh, can you imagine how to lead a life doing this? How do you do it? Um. <laughs> how do you have a private life? I take time off. I think that's our secret. And I also have friends and, and relationships with people who who get it. Uh, there's no such thing as people back home being angry with me for being away for so long, and that's uh, that's extremely important to me. It's difficult maintaining relationships, but when you have people who understand that, it makes it easier. I want to talk about the album, a couple of songs. The, the first three songs are mind-blowing, I think, uh, especially the first one. Am I supposed to apologize? Really oh, that's the, that's the last one. Oh, because that's a, that, that's the, I got the, I got a, you maybe got a mix. Though. I got a mix, probably, yeah, well, the whole, the, the whole album got mixed up then. Well, that's the well, first song I heard. the first song you heard. That's yeah. the last song on the record. Maybe you heard it from the last to the. To the back, well, probably. What, what was the last song on the record that you heard? Victoria. That's the first song. Okay, so I listened in the wrong, okay, listened well. In the wrong still, way. it's a unity, so that's special. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I think my Am I Supposed to Apologize is my favorite song. That's mine, too. Um, it's it's a song I really felt I needed to write because I wanted to stand up for my last album. I wanted to say to the people who criticized me for being extremely honest and vulnerable, I wanted to explain to them why, but then also say, this is my way of expressing myself and I'm, am I supposed to apologize for that? Um, it's also... It turns into a song about my love affair with music and why it actually, I believe it saved me. I would not be the same person today had it not been for that. Had it not been for my ability and my, uh, and people's time and, 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 and belief in me and my ability to express myself. I think I would have been a very closed up person. Another song I really like um, is The Art of Forgiveness. Me too. <laughs> it's also one of my favorite songs. Is it about, is it, I mean, do you, uh, do you write about people that are close to you? Do you write about them? Do they know they write about you? write about them? Yeah, they know. Um, it must be tough for them too. Yeah, but you, know, you have to understand that it's, it's not all black and white. So I draw from my own life, from my own experiences usually. But I also get triggered by other people's experiences, and I put them into perspective. I rem I kind of see myself in them, and I imagine, and I, yeah. Because it's really saying, tempting. Without saying too much, <laughs> just, you know, put it into your own life, but don't think black and white on that one. Because it's really tempting to think that it's about you and uh, about the people you met and, this, and the experience you had. Yeah. But it's not all the time, so. Well, I'll let you think that. I'm the only one and people close to me who know the truth. Did you ever get a reaction from somebody close to you and go like, well, why did you write that stuff about me? Why did you put it on an album for millions to listen? Uh, I haven't. And you know why? I think it's because I both my family and my relationships have always been with people uh, and are with people who get it. And they respect the fact that I this is my way of expressing myself. They're almost... They almost feel honored. It's weird. Um, 
and you know the songs take on their own life sometimes that's i mean even even if my boyfriend now would feel misunderstood in a song they just become something else after a while so it doesn't really matter yeah and he doesn't by the way but even if it's it's not up to us what it what it takes on in other people's minds Another song on the album that I like is Secrets. Uh, always uh, have a way of coming out. Yeah. They do, actually. They do. I wanted to write a song about... That's really my experience. Um, someone f- someone tried to protect me by keeping something ex- important. And I kept... And, 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 and when it comes to honesty, it's probably my most... It's basically what I live after, honestly. It's the only thing I really expect for myself and from other people. Why is that? Because I just live better knowing, you know? That's how I breathe better better knowing and, and I breathe better if I know that people know about me. Um, and so I, w- I wanted to write a song about, because I know so many people do that. Mm-hmm. They try, they think that they know what's best for someone else and they keep a secret. And they come out and they they will bite you in the ass. And it will be even worse Mm -hmm. than if you actually just said it. I mean, especially, uh, that is the way I interpret your your song, is in a relationship, if you long for someone else, it's not a nice thing to say to your girlfriend or your boyfriend. If you you long for someone else while you're in a relationship, it's not a nice thing to say, right? That's how you interpret that song? Well, that's a personal thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I, I agree with you. And you still expect your your partner to be honest then, even? Yeah. God. It's 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 normal. It's human. And it's tough. It's tough. But I'm not a jealous person, though. <laughs> not that we have this problem. I have to say, this was your interpretation. <laughs> it is. It is. But yeah, if something like that happened, I would I would want to hear it. It's especially because this is my opinion, and I know that a lot of people live in a different way and have different relationship and there are really jealous people out there and who who that will not be okay to hear i get that but for me i'm just talking about me if i'm gonna spend my life with someone i want to know who that person is Mm -hmm. good and bad hey there's a lot of piano on this album a lot lot of of piano yeah actually okay yeah why did you choose that because great atmosphere but I think I think it's a little dark though. It is extremely dark. And in your bio it says this is less dark than no, the previous the one. The lyrics are. Yeah. The lyrics are less dark. Okay. The album is extremely hard dark. Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like I want to explain that. It's just I'm a dramatic person. I love it. If it's too dark for people, it's fine. But I love it. W- where and when did you record this album actually? In Oslo during a period of um 6 months. Six months before that, I had time off, and I wrote it. In the winter? No. Actually, we recorded really? it in the summer. you get the feeling, like I get this image of you sitting in a studio, snow outside, dark, 20 hours a day. No, but we've done that as well. I mean, I take my time when it comes to this. And because, because I want to live these songs, I've had periods of time where I've been in the studio and I've told... Martin, who produced it, I've told him, I haven't come to a conclusion yet. I need I need a couple of months. This is an issue in my life. I don't know what I f- how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. And to write a song about it now would be ignorant. So I take two months off and I come back. And, and I have what do you do in those months? Just think I or live. look at the lyrics? or I live. I, I breathe. I, I, I have a relationship with people around me. I... I I come to that, you know. I get I get to a perspective by living. I and don't suddenly you eat, get drink, talk, yeah. And then suddenly you go back and you have the answer to the songs, or yeah, it's like life, you know. Mm-hmm. You probably know better now than you did two years ago. Or yeah, something. True, but that's I mean about, that's how yeah. writing songs for me is as well. Okay. I know better two months from now than I did today. It's, it just is. You learn. Yeah, you're right. 